Okay, in the previous lecture, we wanted to print to the uh, actual, um, uh, let me show you, to, to the actual layout. We wanted to print in this label right here. Instead of zero, we wanted to, pr to print the number that we were um, clicking on, okay? So we're having an issue here that the label only takes text. And right now what we have is actually an integer, so it's a whole number. So we need to find a way to convert it's also called typecast. We convert the number to text. Okay, so let's do that. So right here under center the type, press enter and start typing let. Um, call it number as text. So basically the number is going to be text equals. And here we're going to put um, open a double quote and put a backslash open um, a, a parenthesis and type current number pressed press enter, close the parentheses and close the double quote. Okay, so right now, um, this is basically assigning the current number pressed as integer, which is a, a number, whole number, to text. Once you do that, now we can use this here, number as text. All right, so now the label screen, so whatever we'll see, we'll have some text, some new text that will have the button tag, okay? Now, something else we need to do is the var current number pressed, we need to specify what is the default value. So we're gonna put zero equals zero. Okay, so that's the default value. Whenever we don't touch it, by default, the value will be zero, which is what, what appears on the screen at first, okay? And now we need to, to say when we're gonna trigger this action. So whenever somebody clicks on this numeric pad buttons, we need to say uh, what type of events. You know, it's a touch up inside. We've done it in the past, okay? So go right here in the view did load and let's connect. Now we're gonna do the connection between the action number pressed to the IB outlets, okay? So let's start with uh, number one, okay? Just for the sake of it, and then we're gonna do them all, okay? So number, actually it's, it's button one if I remember, yes. Button one dot add target. So we are actually gonna add an event now and press enter and start to say the target is self. So it's this specific um, file and the action would be um, number pressed, right? It's the one we just created below. Okay, so this one, don't forget the column here. Okay, number pressed. And the control event, it's a UI control event dot touch up inside. Okay, you guys should be familiar with that. We've done that last time and close the parentheses, okay? All right, so now that we have that, let's give it a shot and try. By the way, we've only done it for button one. We need to do this for all the buttons from zero to nine, okay? But let's try with this, press play, and let's see what's gonna happen, okay? So technically, whenever we press the button one, it should change the label screen. So the blue screen, instead of showing zero, it should be showing the number one, right? So let's give it a shot and see that. Okay, so as you can see, it says zero right now. So I'm gonna press number one. All right, it says number one, so it's actually working. Now we connected the code from the button to the code and from the code to the UI label here, the blue one, okay? So now let's keep going and do the same for all the other buttons, all right? So what I'm gonna do is just a copy and paste of this line, okay? So I'm just gonna do edit copy and then paste it for all the other ones, okay? So button zero, okay, button one, then two. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Then three. Four. Five. Six, seven, two more, that's eight and nine. Eight and nine. All right, so at this point we have all the numbers from zero to nine. So now what we're gonna do, it's complaining for this one, yeah, because it's button seven, okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is basically run um, run this in the simulator and see what's gonna happen, okay? So press play, and now every time we click one of those numeric pad buttons, we should get the number in the screen, okay? So let's see if we get that. Okay, so 
button one shows one, two, three, six, five, four, nine, eight, seven, zero. Okay, so far so good, everything works as expected. So uh, that's it for this lesson. I'm gonna make sure to put this code somewhere so you guys can uh, take a quicker look at it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.